Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, I wanted to ask you guys, do you guys think... Okay, so there, there's a series of coins that I've been watching for a long time, for, for maybe two years, year, two years um, in general, right? And some of these coins are so low in value now compared to where they, where they were in the past it makes me beg the question of, you know, where are these coins going to go? So as an example, uh, this coin is Snove, right? S-N-O-V uh, and Bitcoin pairing. Snove is, it's basically like an email lead generation company. It's called Snovio, uh, S-N-O-V-I-O. And if you go to snovio.com or snovio.io, um, and I think they use snovio.space, uh, something like that, you can actually use their, their tool, which is built on the blockchain. You can use their tool to actually generate email marketing leads. And I've actually, I've used this tool myself and it works remarkably well to generate leads for very, very, very inexpensively. And you can get a ton of leads. And anyway, so this, this marketing platform, it has quite a few users. I don't know exactly how many users. Let's see, Snow, Snowvio user base. Like, I don't know how many users they have. Um, how Synovio plans to grow from 350,000 contacts to 10 million in one year. Um, I don't know how many users they have, but I think they do have quite a few if you look on like their Telegram. I did a review of them a while a while back. Anyway, my point is, is they're down now. Like if we were to rise up to the levels we were at before, before the, the huge bear market, we are 4,694% down from where we were um, from the all-time high of Synovio. So my question is, and this is looking at a one-week chart, where is this coin going to go? I mean, is it going to jump at all? Is it going to bounce at all? And if it does, even a small bounce could be a, a pretty giant uh, percentage, right? If we go drill down, let's go to the, the one-day chart, right? So recently, uh, Synovio was kind of going sideways for quite some time, and you can see that it was going sideways for, for gosh, I mean, let's just see. It was going sideways for basically about 62, about 61 days. Snow was, so about two months, it was going sideways, right? And it was literally just going flat, doing nothing really at all. Then all of a sudden, we see a huge jump right here, right? And Snow all of a sudden, you know, jumps up about 64%, and this was just like last week. This wasn't that long ago. Yeah, this was like last week. Um, and so, the, I mean, my, my point is, is that even these small blips, which appear to be nothing right here on the on the main chart, are actually pretty big swings, right? Right, pretty big swings up. And if you look at the RSI over this flat period, where price was remaining rel relatively flat, you see the RSI was going up, 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 up. And I, I didn't catch this until after the fact, so I didn't get in on this. But if you would have seen this, I mean, this is a clear indication that the price is going to rise, right? And so there, there's this big opportunity for Snow, which has a working product. They have a platform that I've used personally to generate marketing leads, email marketing leads. Um, I've actually contacted and reached out to cryptocurrency companies um, and token issuing companies, ICOs, with this actual tool that that is Snovio, okay? So anyway, uh, I'm really curious to see where this will go. I mean, the price is actually dropping right now because of the big run-up you can see right here. So there could be a bounce once we get to about 5.9. Uh, my guess is the bounce is gonna be likely around, it's actually gonna be soon, around 6.5 or 5.9. Between that, between that range, you're gonna see a, um, a bounce, like between that range right there, if you can see that. Um, that's where we're going to see a, a bounce. And the question is, how large is the bounce going to be? The On the four-hour chart, the RSI is still uh, going up, right? And it's coming back down now. We'll see if it hits the bottom uh, level of support again or if it'll bounce back up, okay? So that's the first coin that I wanted to show you about real quick because I think there's potential there and opportunity for it to rise because it has a working product. Keep that in mind that a lot of these ICOs and and companies, they don't have working products, but Snove does, okay? So Clam, another one that's somewhat interesting. So Clam, uh, Clam is interesting because it's, again, really, really low compared to its all-time high. And so is everything, right? Everything is down quite a bit. But again, to get to the levels we were at before, we'd have to rise 4,000, over 4,000%, 4, right? Which is a huge amount. 
And so this one has continuously be, been going down. I mean, let's look at the one, let's look at the week chart. Um, it's consistently been going down. So this is a good example of, uh, you know, maybe it's a good opportunity, maybe not. It's hitting the bottom. So that is something to watch. And if it does drop below the bottom, I would expect to see somewhat of a bounce. And keep in mind, this is the one week chart, okay? So the, however, the RSI is not all that encouraging. It is going up, but it's not going up all that much. It's not like, uh, like Snow was, okay? So let's look quickly at the three day chart. No, it's, it's really not going up that much. So I'd keep an eye on this. There is a downward triangle forming right now uh, for this. Um, and I think, let's see, this is interesting. There's a downward, downward channel forming, um, if you could see it here. Get that right there. This is sometimes what I hate about a small screen is that you can't, uh, it's kind of hard to <laughs> position things. Anyway, you see where I'm going with that. Anyway, okay. So that, that's the, the next one that I wanted to show you. The, the last one is AGI, which I think I talked about here just very recently. Um, let's go to AGI. So this is the three day chart for Binance. It looks like we're starting to go parabolic. RSI is through the roof. And actually, this is this looks like a very, very good um, opportunity with AGI. Uh, wow. And we are down not quite as much as the others, but it is looking like it's going to go parabolic and go up here. Uh, let's check out the volume. Volume has significantly been going up, at least the other day. It, it really went up. This is the three-day chart. If we go to the one-day chart, again, RSI going really through the roof, guys. Been relatively flat. RSI is picking up enormously. I think I might just uh, go and buy some of this right now because this is looking very, very bullish uh, in my opinion. Um, however, there could still be a drop. Um, so I'd keep that in mind. Uh, let's look at it real quick in USD. We're at five, almost six cents, right? And we've been hovering. Wow, this is another really good example of RSI looking extremely bullish. And, uh, and the price actually looking very flat. Um, this is really, really looking good, okay? Let me look, let's look on the MACMD, Mac, uh, MACD real quick. MACD, not quite where I'd really want it to be, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'd like to see it going kind of up and seeing an uptrend. Volume is not extremely high as well, which I don't like either. Uh, that concerns me, but uh, it, it, is, it is going up. Volume is going up. Um, you can see there was some heavy volume here. Uh, the MACD though is not. Uh, if I put the EMI on, really curious to look at EMI. Yeah, I'm sorry, not EMI, EMA. I don't know what I'm talking about here. EMA, let's add another EMA here. I like to track a few of them. Let's for now, let's just put on the, I'm gonna put on the 55 EMA. And I'm gonna put on, oops. And I'm gonna put on the 200 moving average. All right, so what do these mean, guys? Okay, so let's, hold on real quick. Let me, let me set this style. Ah. All right, I am going to make this, uh, I'm gonna make this like white, make it a lot bigger. This is the 200 moving average. And this one, it's going to be the 55 moving average. Let's make this one maybe yellow. No, let's make that one like blue. Nah, let's make that one like green, no. Make it purple. All right. So okay, let's look at the moving look at the moving averages. Okay, so we did just see a cross, uh, <laughs> a golden cross here on AGI, which signifies that the price likely will be jumping up fairly significantly. Um, let's see here. That typically is what happens here. Um, yeah, very interesting, guys. Anyway, check out AGI. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to this video. I got sidetracked for a minute here, but this is looking pretty good, uh, generally speaking. And uh, I'll get back soon, guys. Hopefully, this was helpful. This is a quick market update and some opportunities I think you guys should be aware of. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye.